Hey, what's up everybody? Joe Simpson here. Um, it's pretty late and I'm pretty tired, so I probably look um, a little under the weather because I've been sick lately. Got another cold, voice is kind of in and out, so I apologize. But I wanted to do a quick down and dirty. I'm not even going to do a real clean edit on this deal. Just going to put down some video, show you guys some stuff that I'm working with, and uh, just, just share, and then I'm going to go to bed. So, um, first thing I wanted to show you is I've been looking at some videos and Indy Yak Angler, if you guys don't watch this guy, you got to get on his site and check it out. He takes these kayaks down these rivers that looks like they're maybe 40 to 50 feet wide and he catches four and five pound smallies all day long. But he went out the other day with this, uh, this lure that he got sent by Nico. I think it's Nico or Nico. Um, it's the Helgramite, and you've probably heard of these. They're pretty popular. Um, they've been flying around on the interwebs as far as all the fishermen peeps and all that stuff go. Um, it's pretty basic looking bait. I'll just put it up here so you can see it. Yeah, it just uh, looks really cool. It looks like any other Helgramite out there. I have this one kind of Texas rigged. Um, it's got little tentacles and legs, and it's very, very cool bait. I put one of these on like a jig head where I had to run the hook all the way down through the body and it was actually pretty difficult. Check this out. These things are super tough. They do not give, they do not move. They say on the package that these Helgramites will last 100 fish and if it's not 100 it's at least 30 because these, these baits are just super cool and it's made out of some kind of wicked weird rubber. It's like flubber, you know, you feel like if you put this on the bottom of your shoe, you could jump higher. But anyway, I wanted to share that Nico Helgramites and I've been watching a lot of videos. They're not just in rivers and they're not just with smallies with these. I've been seeing them catch largemouth bass in ponds and lakes. So if you're looking for something different and you want to try something maybe a little bit smaller and finessey, this could be a good option. So if you throw them out on the water empty with no hooks, they'll just float flat on top of the water. With this hook, it floats a little bit at an angle like this with the tail touching the top of the water. So any amount of weight will start to take it down. Um, so you could fish these with like a drop shot, a little nose hook, and then have a weight below. And that would be kind of cool. Or you could even fish it like this with maybe, you know, a split shot um, 12 to 15 inches in front. And it would allow it just to kind of drift along the bottom, which is what I'm going to try next. So that's Nico, the Helgramite. And it's not pronounced, what was I heard a guy say the other day? Helgramit. It's a Helgramite, I think. So um, anyway, I canceled both subscriptions to Mystery Tackle Box and to Lucky Tackle Box. I compared both for a couple weeks and they they both seem to do the same thing. They'd send you quite a few um, plastic baits and bags and, and then they'd send you one or two hard baits. So it wasn't really hitting it home for me. Um, I was buying more individual and particular things on my own so I didn't really feel the need to have these subscriptions but they are a great way to start if you don't do a lot of fishing you're not really sure what to get it's a, a good way to get some baits and get going with some things but when I canceled the mystery tackle box had already renewed for another it was it three or six months so I'm going to get a few more boxes from mystery tackle box just because it's already paid for so since I'm getting the boxes I'm going to go ahead and review some lures that come in this this is this month's box it's uh, June and <clears throat> you get a catch coast sticker which is kind of cool Let's see if that'll focus yeah it looks neat um we have some weights bullet weights house brand bullet weights here nothing super fancy we have some hammer sticks these are just these little uh i'll pull them out they're they're all little minnow imitations and um uh, Nothing super fancy. They do stink. Wow, they have a good smell to them. Um, but these are going to be like a minnow imitation. Wow, those reek bad. I mean like bad. Like bad garlic breath after Italian meal. I mean, holy mackerel, they stink really bad. Um, I mean, they actually smell... Oh, wow, they really reek. So, maybe they'll work. Now, this one's kind of cool. This one's called the Game Changer Lures. The big O's. Wreck them. Eliminators. <clears throat> I'm pulling these out because you'll, you'll never get it from looking at the box. Oh, I can just do them like this. So they've got like a wide body, but then they have the auger tail on the back. So it looks like a frog, basically, or a big old tadpole type thing. Um, but yeah, real good presentation of a, like a frog or some type of swimming fish. Um, with a lot of chunk to them, so I think they'll do well. 
probably jigging or swimming them. Um, I have a couple of these and I like this color. This is cool. Um, this is a Booyah prank. I did a video on the Booyah prank because it's got a crank lip on the front, but it's a popper. Here's the packaging. Here's how it looks uh, in the package. But I like that high contrast black and white. And I'll, I'll pull this one out because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this one because I've been on a popper craze lately. Oh yeah, that's, that's hot. That looks good. So here it is. And that's the Booyah prank with a, like a little bonefish looking thing, black and white. That's, really, that's a really nice lure. Um, I would buy that. If that was sitting on a shelf, I'd pick that one up because that's a, that's a great looking lure. But that's the Booyah prank. So, uh, and they gave us a buzz bait. I was just looking at these the other day. I was thinking I'm gonna start trying to use a couple of my buzz baits. Just a real basic buzz bait, nothing special. Um, looks like something you could get at Walmart. Might be better quality, but um, did see some techniques from Tactical Bassin on buzz baits um, about how to adjust the, the blade holder and all that stuff. Might try some of those and some of the trailers. But decent box, nothing uh, terrible here, but um, got a buzz bait, got these big chunky things called Big O's Game Changers. You got the hammer sticks that stink to high heaven. I mean stink bad, so they're gonna be good from a smell standpoint. Some bullet weights, can always use a few of those. And those are nice, these are like a real slender, let me hide my face. These are like a nice real slender skinny bullet weight, so they'll, they'll you know, pierce through that rough and nastiness pretty easily. And uh, yeah, man, this Booyah prank, I dig it. That's just a great, great profile look. I'm not even gonna change the hooks. I know these hooks are decent and this feather backing is good, but I have other ones too, so. Anyway, uh, hot looking lure and don't forget to get yourself some Nico Helgramites because those are really cool. Um, I'm gonna hit the Potomac in a couple days and hopefully get out there. I didn't catch much last time I was out and hopefully this time I can put something on the hook so I'll give that a shot but anyway thanks guys it's a late night deal I didn't want to talk and do a whole lot I don't have any fishing catches uh, today I went out didn't catch anything um, but I'll be back uh, wanted to talk to you guys and I'll bring this up in some upcoming videos my buddy does these um, feather trailer hooks and um, he makes them now and I might be able to get you some if you want some of these they look really good um, his price is right it's pretty cheap and they're handmade which is cool kind of gives you a zen feel like you're getting something special but um you guys take it easy and uh have a good night and i'll see you soon tight lines keep in touch